The nuclear medicine department of a hospital uses radioactive materials every day. They're used to help doctors understand what's happening inside people's bodies. First, a radioactive material called a tracer is prepared in a specially protected area. It's designed to accumulate in a certain part of the body. This syringe contains a tracer called Technetium 99M. It emits gamma radiation and is one of the most commonly used radioactive materials in nuclear medicine. Once the tracer is ready, it's injected into the patient. In just a few minutes, it'll accumulate in the target organ, in this case, the kidneys. The doctors are trying to find out if this patient's kidneys are functioning properly. Gamma radiation is very penetrating. It easily passes out through her body. She's carefully positioned over a machine called a gamma camera. It detects the radiation and pinpoints where it's coming from. A series of images are collected at regular intervals. The first image captured by the camera clearly shows the size and shape of the two kidneys. Now watch what happens over the next 15 minutes. The radioactivity in the kidney on the right has almost disappeared. This kidney has quickly got rid of the tracer, but there's still a high level of radiation being emitted from the kidney on the left. There's probably a blockage. The left kidney is struggling to get rid of the tracer. But if the radioactive material is inside the patient's body, does this make them radioactive forever? To investigate, a syringe containing a fresh sample of technetium is placed into a radiation detector. At 9 o'clock in the morning, the radioactivity of the sample is 112 million counts per second. After two hours, it's dropped to 88 million. After four hours, it's 67 million. The level of radioactivity emitted from the technetium sample is gradually decreasing.